Solar panels cover the roof of the Sherwood Community Center, creating enough energy to fully power the facility. It's one of many town-operated facilities turning to a renewable power source. The panels are expected to last 25 years. The project will pay for itself in four. And that four-year payback on that, it reduces the operating costs um, for our power consumption, which has a positive impact to the tax base. So that's one of those wins where it's also, you know, we're doing the, the right thing by the environment and we're helping lower our costs, ultimately, that would end up becoming a burden for the, the taxpayers of the town of Milton. The Climate Action Plan for 2023 includes adding another ice resurfacer that runs on electricity and the big project converting a midlife traditionally powered diesel bus to electric power. The town hopes to have that project completed late this year and on the road early next year. Projects that are possible because of advancements in technology. Combined with the growth of the town, Simpano believes this puts Milton in a unique position. This provides us the opportunity to take advantage of that and act in a, in a responsible manner. Obviously climate change is a huge issue globally and this just allows us to do our part and be very effective at it because it's all happening sort of right now and the opportunity to change things is right here right now. Those changes are not about using a single approach, whether it's reducing the town's carbon footprint, carbon sequestration or other potential methods in the goal to be more sustainable. Environmental responsibility or green thinking is sort of consistent throughout the organization and we take advantage of every opportunity that we can. So it's not focused on one specific area. We look at multiple areas wherever we can make a difference. So whether that be using things like low VOC paints, we use green environmentally friendly cleaning products, um, we utilize technology to improve traffic flow so that just you know gets people around faster, uh, less idling time, less burning of fuel, those types of things. Um, so I would say it's a, it's a multitude of approaches just wherever makes sense. Approaches that also include community gardens, greening more spaces and partnerships like the one that combines Conservation Halton, Halton Regent, McMaster University and Wilfrid Laurier in the Blue Dot program for youth. We're trying to uh, sort of train and educate um, some, some local members of, of the community youth uh, in regards to responsible uh, planting, uh, planting a forest, planting a sustainable forest, utilizing edible foods and edible plantings and whatnot. The town is hoping those who take part in the program will carry those teachings with them over the long term. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.